This is where New York City finance and fashion unite to rise to the challenge of preventing, treating, and curing blindness for millions of Americans. Hi everyone, Angel Pie here at the Plaza at the Fashion and Finance Ball with the Foundation Fighting Blindness to raise awareness and funds for retinal research. Vision is a gift that many people take for granted. But when that gift is taken away or inhibited by retinal diseases, which affect an estimated 10 million Americans, Fashion and Finance and the Foundation Fighting Blindness are in the front lines, supporting research treatment and education on coping with vision loss. There has never been a greater need for treatments and cures. I mean, the cause of finding cures and preventions for inherited retinal disease is just so tremendous. And it also has implications for other diseases of the brain and of the eyes as well. This year, the Fashion and Finance Ball is honoring two aptly noted visionaries, Deidre Quinn, CEO and co-founder of Lafayette 148 New York, and Richard Richman, chairman and co-founder of the Richmond Group. The evening's fundraising festivities were hosted by board member and dinner chairman Evan Mittman, who recounted how his diagnosis in 1972 was devastating. With no cure, nowhere to turn, and no hope. How he spun all that around to be involved with many solutions. What the doctor said was, Evan, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do for you. You have one year to see. You need to get a seeing eye dog and take up Braille. It became my life to be able to work for an organization that could truly make a difference. The Master of Ceremonies was fashion designer, philanthropist, and former cast member of Real Housewives of New York, Heather Thompson. Of those roughly 10 million people affected by retinal degenerative diseases in the U.S., two of them are my friends. Fashion designers, the two blind brothers, were among the special guests. Their mission is to cure blindness through the softest clothing ever made. We have a disease called Stargardt's disease. It's a form of macular degeneration, so it's a degenerative eye disease, and you lose your center vision over time, and you keep a lot of your peripheral mm -hmm. vision. So you'll have every, everything from somebody who has to use a cane and maybe an assistive animal to uh, just really bad vision, kind of where Brad and I fall, but you can fall everywhere in between. We started this as a side project to help the foundation fighting blindness. About three months ago, we both decided full time we were running at this to support the mission and do what we could with the brand. Yeah. Amazing. From gene therapy to harnessing the power of stem cells to developing medications to preserve vision to funding the best in retinal research, the foundation fighting blindness has achieved remarkable success with a wide range of therapies to provide hope to millions. We are seeing hundreds of millions of dollars come into the field to try to help us to find uh, treatments and cures. My job is to, um, is to uh, finish the job. With four decades of global leadership and innovation, the Foundation Fighting Blindness has raised more than $700 million to fund research breakthroughs leading to restored vision. And there is still much more work to do to continue the momentum and to ensure that one day, no one will lose vision to devastating retinal diseases. We've all been affected by it in one way or another, and just being part of this wonderful organization has meant a lot to me. Thanks to the work of the Foundation Fighting Blindness and the Fashion and Finance Ball, we can be assured that a cure is clearly in sight.